Hello everyone. You already know who it is, Mr. Royal Diamond, aka Mr. Nerd, coming back at you with another incredible video. You know, to all the knights and queens of my world, my topic today is going to be about, um, it's truly possible. It's truly possible for you to have the things that you want, to live the life that you want, and to really live the life of your dreams. You know, I say this from personal experience because I remember growing up and having dreams and having goals and things that I always wanted to do in my life, you know, and a lot of those things I accomplished because of God. I'm not saying that they're, they was easy, but they are possible. Faith makes things all possible. And sometimes people may feel it's hard because it's something new and it's something to have to learn and grow and really bring out a new version of yourself too. But I say it's truly possible because when I thought it wasn't possible, God showed me it was possible. God made it a reality. God showed me how incredible and strong and intelligent and beautiful and, and you know, like how I really am or who I really am, how he created me to be. And when you begin to find your self-worth, your identity, your truth in God, and the goals he is aligning for you to accomplish, know that the favor of God and his protection and his mercy is already upon you. It's upon your goals and dreams. That's something that he already put in place for you to achieve, to be not only a blessing to you, like to be like a blessing to God or be a blessing to yourself, but to bless his people, to show his people they can really rise from whatever darkness they might be going through and really truly live the life of their dreams. Because you, you, you can do it. Like, it's just, and sometimes your victories and your breakthroughs are like this close. You know, let me see. They're like this close, you know. But sometimes that little space is what you have to overcome to claim it. Some people didn't realize how close they was to their breakthrough success before they quit, you know. And the reason why people are successful and are wealthy and are living the life of their dream is because even when the world told them no, the voice of God told them, yes, take one more step, my son. Take one more step, my daughter. Take one more step. And when you walk that last step, when you feel like the world is screaming at you, and you take that leap of faith that no matter what, you will, you will, you're going to walk in faith. You're going to walk in your, your, your truth. You're going to walk in what God has already promised over your life. And when you take that step, that small last step that it feels like the world's on top of you when you choose to rise with every ounce that you got the miracle and blessing right over that step is worth it you know why because it's such an incredible sensation the fact that you did it god helped you accomplish these things that you once thought was not possible for you and when you begin to truly understand how powerful god is and how incredible he made you and the depths of who you are. You begin to understand that you can do all things to God who gives you um, strength. The God that makes all things possible. The God that said, if you have faith like a mustard seed, which is very tiny, you will tell this mountain that stands before you to move and it will move because that's God commanded it to move for you. You understand what I'm telling you? So, I just wanted to, to let people know, don't give up, don't quit, don't throw in the towel because you do have no idea how close you are to the life of your dream and all the things you wish and prayed for. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was going through my challenges and my pain and my despair and my darkness and not knowing, you know, I, I always knew in the back of my mind, like I, something inside of me always told me to run to God, you know. And not only does the Bible say that, but when you're in the midst and you do not know and all you have is God, then you begin to truly appreciate who God is and what He, who He is and what He can do for you. You know, and the relationship he has and the love that he has for you. So when I was going through my darkest and my lowest, when I felt I didn't have nothing left to give, when I felt shattered, when I felt broken, when I felt like I didn't have anything else left to give, God was my strength. You know what I'm saying? God was my warrior. He was my fighter. He was my father, my provider. He kept me from legit 
the depths of despair and darkness. He stepped in and he said, take my hand, my son. Who <sighs> And rise. You know what I'm saying? So this is why I tell you it's so important to truly believe with every ounce that if truly possible for you. Do not listen to the naysayers. Do not listen to people who don't even understand your vision. Because if God gave you a vision, it's for you alone. Because God created you with greatness. God created you with purpose. God gave you tremendous power in the sense of no matter what you go through, you can still rise. Because He is your fortitude. He is your strength. He is your forest. He is the love that breaks all bondage he is the love that destroys all darkness he is the truth in everything and when you begin to really sit back and 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 soak that information in and really truly see like going back in your life you begin to see the you got his hand in all areas in your life you know how they say when you pray about everything you will see god's hand in everything and it's tr and it's really true because i go back and in, in the moment, you know, and God done gave me like visions of how he was there. He was there the whole time, you know. And if God believes in you, what what other reason do you need that the God who created you, the God who gave you life, he believes in you. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that runs everything. He's the one that made the world possible. Everything possible because of him. You are like images of him. You know what I'm saying? So when God is communicating, when you, God is talking to you, when God is putting something in your heart, in your mind, in your speech patterns, in your words, it's because he's trying to give life. He's like throwing life at you. He's like, he's give life, my son. You know what I'm saying? Because he gave you life. You know, we are his vessel. You have to be a willing vessel and to to bring forth the things that he wants to come forth for a greater miracle, a greater purpose, and a greater blessing. That's why I tell you it's truly possible. There's a saying that goes, the world belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. When you believe in your dreams, it's just something that's so magical and beautiful and powerful because they make the world go round. They make things in the world possible. Every, all that we have today is because somebody believed in the dreams that God has blessed them with. And they didn't let nothing keep them or stop them. Even, even when they had the world against them. Even when the world was telling them no. Even when they felt like nobody was there. They still persevered. And look at the incredible things we have accomplished as God's people in life. You know what I'm saying? So I encourage you to believe and never let nobody steal your dream. And if you feel like you're having a hard time knowing what that is. Prayer is such a powerful thing. Talk to God, get in communication with God, and He will help you see you through. You know what I'm saying? And respect your dreams, you know. Don't let nobody take them from you. And be very careful who you tell your dreams to, you know. Because sometimes God just gives you vision so you can work silently. And let the results speak for themselves. So, like I said, like I say in all my videos, I love you. I thank you. God bless you. I'm so proud of you. Keep going. Keep fighting. Keep striving. Keep claiming. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Share to all those who might need this video. Let's come together. Let's blossom together. And let's take the world by storm. And the best is yet to come. Remember that it's truly possible when you believe. I love you. Until my next one. Peace.